Hi, Sarah. This is Lisa. Um, as I stated before, I normally do not do uh, this with replies, but for some reason, I was guided to do this with you, um, as well as some uh, other people who wrote me. The reason why I had you send me uh, that secondary photo is... Uh, there's a very strong connection between the both of you, you and your aunt. Auntie is what her soul is saying. I'm not sure if this resonates with you, so I'm just going to say what spirit has been guiding me to say. Um, I don't see your, your aunt as having physical children of her own. If she did, um, you were meant to come through your aunt. And so you're part of the same spiritual family. Your aunt has a very powerful connection with you and with your heart. And that comes from the same soul family, the same mission, the same vision. She's very high on the ascension level. It's a beautiful thing to see because she's truly connected up to the heart. And as we move into the ascension the more we connect to the heart, and I guess this is more of a message for her than you, the more we connect to the heart, the more powerful one becomes. That power comes from connecting with Mother Earth more than anything else. When you connect with Mother Earth, you are beginning to feel her emotions, her, and her energy and power begins to connect with yours you're you're an indigo but you're a star seed as well uh, as well as your aunt your aunt is one of the first wave here on the planet uh, as i am um, a lot of people think that the indigos began began to incarnate in 1975 but the truth is, we began, that first real huge wave began in 1946. There have always been indigos on the planet. Einstein, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, Enoch. These are souls of the true spiritual path of the true goddess and God. And, oh my God, your aunt is very high on, upon the ascension level very strong vibration and frequency. Uh, she's had a very uh, lonely life, but realized that a lot of the first wave indigos had that very same life. We don't connect with a lot of people. There are some very powerful vibrations, and your aunt can explain this to you, uh, coming down to the planet right now. Ones of creativity manifestation. Your aunt is very highly evolved and uh, certainly on the path to ascension. Um, she, she does have some blockages that she just needs to break down uh, concerning the heart connection, uh, the coherence uh, of the heart and the, and the mind. You and your aunt are very spiritually connected. Uh, you were meant to actually come through your aunt. Now, whether your aunt does not have any children of her own, or um, your mother was pregnant at the time, your mother was pregnant at the time that you were meant to astrologically come through, according to the planets, is why you came through your mom. But ultimately, you and your aunt were meant to be together. You guys have an amazing heart connection. There's nothing you cannot say to your aunt that she cannot say to you. And so your aunt is actually fulfilling her contract, which is guiding you. You are an indigo, uh, but more importantly, you're also a star seed. You have a very powerful connection to Mother Earth, uh, the love of animals, the love of nature, the love of the planet itself. And the, the planet uh, recognizes this and surrounds you with a series of protection, a lot of vibration around you. 
sheltering you from a lot of the negativity and harm that um, infiltrates. Although I don't see uh, you going through a very easy life and this is where your aunt is stepping in to make sure that you don't go off path. You're kind of at a crossroads and I, I'm going to, your, your aunt's soul is asking me to tell you to really follow that path. It's so important right now in your ascension development. Uh, there are certain circuits that are going to be activated within you soon. Because you are a multidimensional being, uh, very much as your aunt is. Uh, you two do come from the, the same spiritual family. I know I've said this. I know I have a list of questions online. Those questions w came from my own personal life, but not every one of them, not every gift will everyone possess. It is what an individual soul has mastered throughout many different uh, dimensions, throughout many different lifetimes, uh, many who are always on the spiritual path in every lifetime, this is what they focused in on. Uh, there are too many people that got caught up within the cycle of karma here on the planet and we're here to help them to make that final step if they could only move into compassion and love and not putting so much emotion and I'm guiding to tell you don't put so much emotion and thought into every experience and situation because you'll only do yourself an injustice Okay, so I'm going to finish up the reading with this. I don't know if you noticed, but halfway through, I was interrupted, so I uh, started again. But I think some additional information came out on that part. So rather than edit it, I'm going to leave it the way it was. Uh, as I was saying, not every person will have the same ability. Ultimately, once that person reaches enlightenment, reaches that ascension, that person will possess every ability that you can possibly imagine. And that list is endless. Um, telepathy, teleportation, clairaudience, clairknowing, healing people, regenerating uh, matter, turning lead to gold, alchemy. But these are the really high um, beings here on the planet. Um, will everybody possess all those abilities? Absolutely in time. Uh, will they at the point of ascension? I don't know. I can't say. So I'm not going to say yes. Um, I'm not going to say no. It's very possible. Imagine being on 10 planets at the same time. Um, the point is, is that the planet is at a crossroads. We are at the end of multiple cycles. And there are many people awakening at the same time period. To be an indigo, a lot of us felt, uh, especially the, from the first wave, that it was a gift and a curse. A gift because we had certain experiences that others didn't. But a curse, uh, especially for those who are empathic, because if you weren't liked or lied to, you felt it. What is it better to feel it or not feel it? I don't know. Um, when you can feel everything that people feel and think, it, it's truly hard. And when you clash with the total opposite of a vibration that you carry, you intuitively know that this person is not for your highest good. 
yet you want to give that person a chance. I know a lot of people think that there's a normal way to be, and that normal way is gone. It's not. It doesn't exist anymore. Spirituality is not a religion. I'm going to tell you this. I'm just telling you what Spirit is telling me at this point. It's not a religion. It is a way of being. We've always been this way. The, the sages, the druids, uh, the healers of ancient times, the Gnostics, they mastered the true knowledge. And we are at a time period where those very sages have returned, those very masters have returned. And they're bringing this knowledge back onto the planet for the purpose, the very purpose of ascension. Not only for humanity, but also for the planet. Because she has a life, ultimately. I know I feel her, and she's not very happy with all the roads uh, that are placed on her. But she can't breathe when you are in a forest and you feel her pain. And then you see why, because uh, all these logs are cut down. Every time you cut down a log that's been alive for hundreds of years, you're cutting down one of its family, ultimately, believe it or not. That's how she feels. When you carry a deep love for the planet, you know you're different. When you carry an inner knowing within your heart, knowing that to judge other people is wrong, to gossip is wrong. Why are these things wrong? They are just words, but words carry frequency and vibration. Thoughts carry frequency and vibration. Um, emotions carry frequency and vibration. And science is finally connecting with spirituality. <clears throat> The ancient wisdom and knowledge. The Sumerians and the texts uh, proved that there was a field around the planet. And this field is the very field that we need to connect to. Many of us are connecting to it. But many more are here who are awakening and need to move into this field. The stronger we make this field, uh, the stronger of light we create around the planet. So are you in the go? Absolutely. Uh, follow the path of a spiritual person because the old is dissolving. It's slowly fading, crumbling away, and the new is coming. And it is going to be glorious and blissful. God bless you. I hope you enjoy.